Hi, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going to look at how to add a NFS storage um, folder or share on your Netgear Ready NAS, um, NAS storage device. So this process is fairly straightforward and we're essentially going to allocate a share on my Ready NAS so that I can access it in VMware, for example. So I've got my VMware uh, vSphere environment and I want to connect to my Ready NAS to use the storage for my ready NAS to install VMs and all that sort of thing. So first thing you want to do is you want to log in to your Netgear ready NAS. Okay. Once you've logged in, you want to make sure that inside your settings tab under services that you have NFS enabled. Okay. So go in and enable NFS. Number of threads that you want. So this is how many concurrent connections do you want? Okay. So we're going to say we want to go for eight. All right. We're going to leave NFS version four for now. It does have a few new features, but we're just going to go with the standard version here and apply. Okay. So that is it on that first front. Okay. So NFS should now be enabled. Next thing we want to do is we want to create a share that will send to your VMware and access that storage. So in the shares, I've, as you can see, I've got a number of other shares available here. We're going to create a new folder and we're going to give it a, a name. Well, let's call it VMware uh, NFS. Okay, well, let's do it all lowercase, VMware NFS. So this is my VMware NFS share. Okay, name in the description that name is going to be very important. So take a note of that name. Do we want to do snapshots? You know, if we want to do backups, etc. Now in our case, we want it just to be NFS. Okay, so we're going to untick SMB. If you want this NFS share to be available in other, so if you want to access it from Windows or from AFP over your Mac, you tick those options as well. But we're just going to leave NFS ticked. Okay, and create. So that's told me that a folder or LUN has been successfully created. In our case, it was a new folder. Okay. And if we look down, there it is. VMware NFS. Okay. Just go into settings, network access, make sure that this is okay. NFS. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to give access to everything. We want to go read, write. Okay. Any host can read, write. If you leave that blank, you won't be able to write to it, so it's not going to work. Okay, so just go in, make sure that's okay, and in host NFS, you want to click on read write and apply. File access should be the same. You can go in and actually change a whole bunch of things in here if you really want to, you know, control it a lot more. We're going to leave that blank, and we say okay. Now, the other thing you want to take note of is the name of your ready NAS, okay? Because you actually need the full name to be able to go in and connect to your um, to your share from VMware, okay? So that is now configured, all right? We're ready to go. We've got our share, VMware NFS. Let's open up vSphere and connect it, all right? So select your host, configuration, storage. Okay, in here I've already got a couple of devices. So these are two uh, storage adapters that I already have configured. The first one is one that I've already got configured from the NAS. The second one is a data store one, which is just the local storage on the actual server itself. Okay, what we want to do is we want to add new storage. So we're going to say add storage. We want to select network file system or NFS. Okay, and we're adding a NAS NFS. And next. Now in here we want to add in the server name. Okay, the actual server IP. Okay, so in my case it's 172.16.1.50. Yours will more than likely be different. So go in and actually put your IP address of your ready NAS in there. We're going to put in the full path, okay? So not just VMware NFS, but the actual name of your ready NAS as well, okay? Of the actual storage part. So in our case, 
following the example, it's forward slash underscore underscore and then forward slash VMware NFS data store name let's call it VMware VMware uh, let's call it ReadyNAS okay VMware dash ReadyNAS do you want to mount it as NFS read only? We don't want to do that. So leave it blank. Make sure that your details are correct and click on finish. And that's it. That has now added the VMware dash readiness storage. Shows me the capacity, shows me how much I've got free. And now you should be able to just create a new VM and add a VM to that storage. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, digital bike computing for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.